guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. In today's video, we're going to be doing the review for The Reunion by Kayla Olsen. This is a romance book and yes, this was our August book club choice. Our August book club was a great discussion about the book and about what fame can do to you. But I wanted to make sure that I give you guys a review in some of the highlight points of this book for me. So I would rate this book 3.6 stars. Is it a book that I would read again? Yes, if I wanted a cute love story that gave me summertime feels and I wanted to be transported to Hollywood life, then yes, I would read this book again. This book is a slow build. I feel as though the book started to pick up around chapter 6, but started to get juicy in chapter 10. The highlight of the book for me were the magazine and newspaper articles that you would get right before a chapter start. Because if you read them, they were embellishments of what the paparazzi thought they captured from the chapter before. So they were always very interesting. And for the characters Live and Ransom, their childhood characters to me seem to be on the same page because they were best friends. But how their friendship ended when Girl on the Verge ended after six seasons was more like could have been avoided if they would have just had a heart-to-heart -heart deep conversation and actually communicated their feelings because living ransom plays on screen lovers on girl on the verge but in real life they were best friends and they had feelings for each other but neither one of them told each other and then ransom when the show ended he told her that they couldn't be friends anymore because he said people already speculated and thought they were super close and they would never find happiness because people would always think they want to be together because they were super close. So their friendship ended like that. And then Liv, I love Liv because she took control of her own career after Girl on the Verge. She was like, I don't know how much I can be in the spotlight, so she stayed in the spotlight, but at a smaller capacity doing indie films. Some of them got popular and they were more dramatic roles than when she was a teenager, but she kept her private life private. So I kind of feel like Liv had the best of both worlds until the Girl on the Verge reboot happened. Ransom, he took the blockbuster route. So he was always in big movies that always had red carpets and always wanted to be interviewed but he had a good soul but his parents his dad really pushed his career really pushed his career and didn't really give him much of a say so in his career it was more so this is what's best with best for you this is what's going to make you the most money and keep your likeness in Hollywood. We never want you to fall off the train and we don't want people to forget about you. We're gonna take you on this. Was Ransom happy about it? No. And he lacked communication with his father by not saying how he really felt until he got caught up with Liv and wanted to be with Liv and how their relationship, friendship, got a second chance. But I feel like in this book, the other characters didn't get as much attention as they deserve because characters like Ford, he played Ransom's best friend on the show, Sasha Kate, who played Liv's sister, and then we also had Natalie, who played Liv's younger sister. We didn't really get much to their stories and what their lives were like on set. We knew Sasha Kate was jealous because she auditioned for Girl on the Verge. Sasha Kate auditioned for the main character because the main character played tennis and Sasha Kate had been playing tennis her whole life but she didn't get the party, went to live. And she's never like lived for that. And then the younger sister, 
Natalie, she was on Girl on the Verge when she was like five. She did her lines and that was it. But she grew up into not wanting to act anymore because she felt as though she wasn't good at it. And she was making a lot of waves in the music scene. So I feel like in this book, there were main characters and supporting characters. In the supporting characters, they were there to fill in a lot of gaps for the story, but they didn't get as much spotlight as I feel as though they should. And if they make a book two of the reunion, I would want to see where the rest of them ended up now that Girl on the Verge is a reboot. We know who signed on and who didn't sign on. I won't spoil that for you. But I would love to know how the reboot of Girl on the Verge is doing if we get a book too. And who signed on, who signed off. And if you chose to sign off and do something else in your career. How did your career turn out? We did get a mini epilogue that took us to the reunion episode. We got to see how the reunion episode played out, but I feel like the epilogue of the book kept us hanging. So, our September book club, if you have not seen the winner is video that's on my channel. Our September book club will be held at 7 p.m. on September the 15th. We are reading two different books because the book that won, I didn't realize it was a standalone sequel, so I'm giving you guys the option to read both if you like. We are reading, we are reading The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell and the winner of our poll was The Family Remains which is the standalone sequel to The Family Upstairs which is also by Lisa Jewell. So I'm giving you the option to read both or just The Family Remains but we will be talking about both the and you can find these books at your library or you can order them if you choose to. And if you have the Libby app and a library card, you can have your library on your phone because Libby is an app. It's a free app. You just have to put in your library card. Or you can get it on your tablet, iPad, or any type of device. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of the reunion. And if you want more details, I would check out the August Book Club Live for the reunion. Because in there we talk about the different perspectives of fame and we get into more details about the book. And you get to hear not only my perspective, but you get to hear people, other people's perspective. And it was a very interesting conversation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, I'm always thinking of you. Sending my love. Bye for now.